In this video, I'll demonstrate how to download a weather file from the National Solar Radiation Database to use in SAM. The first thing I want to do is to open a web browser and go to nsrdb.nrel.gov and then click the blue NSRDB viewer button. Then I'll click download and starting on the intro tab, I will type uh, an email address. Uh, you'll want to type your own email address here and then click get started. Then on the data and location tab, it asked me to select a layer. I want to download uh, TMY data, so I'm going to choose the USA and America's typical meteorological year data option, uh, but you could choose any of the other ones. And then for the location, I'm going to enter coordinates manually, so I'll choose this option. And then I'm going to use Google Maps to find the latitude and longitude of, of my location. So let's say I'm downloading loading a file for the NREL Visitor Center. I'll uh, right click on the map here and read the values from here. So it's 39.7 and minus 105.2. And then I'll click next. That takes me to the attributes tab. Um, where I select attributes. By default, the attributes that Sam wants are already checked, but I could check these additional attributes if I wanted that data in my weather file. Sam would just ignore those. And then for select year, I'm going to choose um, the most recent TMY data set, so I'll choose TMY 2020. I could choose more than one data set to, choose to download more than one file. And then for the interval, I want 60-minute uh, data. That's all that's available, so I'll select that. And then SAM needs the weather data to be in local time, so I want to make sure that convert UTC to local time is checked. Then I click Download, and that should result in an email being sent. Um, if I go off screen here and look at my email, I see an email from noreply at nrel.gov. It has the subject NREL data download ready. Um, that might be in your junk folder, so you might want to check there if you don't see the email. And the email contains a link that I'll click to download um, the weather file. And if I look in my downloads folder, I'll see that there's this uh, file, uh, the zip file, with a number for a file name. So in order to use this um, data in SAM, I'm going to need to get the CSV file that's inside the zip ar archive and put it in a folder on my computer and then tell SAM where that folder is. So let's get that CSV file out of this file, uh, out of the zip archive. I can extract it or just in Windows, I can just uh, copy it from the zip archive and paste it into another folder. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop. Um, I could put this folder anywhere on my computer. And then I'll paste the CSV file uh, here. And then now I need to go to SAMS. So in, in SAM, I'll go to the location and resource page and add the folder. So I'll click add remove weather file folders and then add and navigate to um, the folder that I just created, which is on desktop and SRDB data, select folder, and then click OK. So what Sam does is it uh, looks in that folder for any files that it, that any CSV files and scans them to see if they're a valid weather file. If the weather file is valid, then it adds it to the solar resource library and then you can just select it in the solar resource library, check the data, and use it for your simulation.